Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anissa or Nisi. If you are new here, thank you for joining me. If you are a subscriber, then thank you for coming back. So today we are doing a subscriber request. So I had a subscriber hit me up and her name is Baj for life or either B-A-J for life, but I think it's Baj. And she said, uh, seriously considering a pack system, would love a detailed tour. My closet is small and angled. So I am here in my closet today to give you guys a full tour of this IKEA pack system closet. I'm sure you have seen it before, um, but sometimes I know it may seem, um, it might seem a bit overwhelming because it looks like a lot, but actually it's a great system. I would recommend it to pretty much anybody. So I made a couple notes here. So today we are going to talk about the specs. Uh, the pros, the cons, and of course the price. And then I will also be giving you guys a tour of our closet here. All right, so we heard that she mentioned her closet was small. I think that the pack system is perfect for that. Honestly, Ikea is ideal for that. That is what they do. That is what they are known for. They are known for furniture and pieces that are going to maximize small spaces. So they have the pack system tool online. So you are able to go in and put in your specific specs of your closet, and then you can input boxes that are going to fit so you'll know right off hand what fits in your space and that is exactly what i did for our space i put in our measurements and then i just played around with the tool put in large boxes smaller boxes and just saw what fit best and what worked for my needs so if you guys are wondering just some specifics of my closet it is a walk-in closet and it is six feet long no six feet wide <laughs> by nine feet long. So it's a six by nine closet. The width of my closet is a 39 and a half box and a 29 and a half box. And both of those are 22 inches in depth. The 22 inches is the largest depth that they have. So that means that our shirts and pants fit all the way into the box. So when they are hung up on the rack, none of it is hanging out of the box. And then the shoe shelf behind me is 13 inches deep. So of course, because we were just using these for shoes, we did not need them to be that deep. So they're only 13 inches deep. The shoes fit right on the shelf. It's perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get the con out of the way because honestly, there's only one con that I have found with this closet. I got a whole list of pros. So let's just go and get this one con out of the way. The one con is, is that if you choose to get the almost nine foot uh, boxes like I have, then it can be very difficult to get them into your space. You guys, my bathroom is very narrow. So I, my closet is at the end of my bathroom here and I put these boxes together myself, but I put them together in the living room and then tried to bring them into the closet. And when we walked in and tried to stand it up, it kept hitting the ceiling of the closet. So my ceiling has some little nicks and scuff marks because it was really difficult getting these boxes in. Now, I did not realize, but after I put the boxes together, Ikea uh, also gave instructions of how to put the boxes together standing up. Now, let me tell you, if you put the boxes together standing up, then you will need help. If you have a space where you're able to maneuver just fine, then you can put the boxes together yourself. Uh, in another area but if you if your area is kind of tight like mine and you choose for the large boxes then you may want to consider putting them together standing up other than them being kind of large and hard to get in here this system is great so let me run down my pros to y'all so the first pro is it just gives you an organized look when I turn the corner and walk into my bathroom and just see my closet straight on, I love how everything just looks so organized. You know, things aren't sitting everywhere all over the floor. Like I said before, when you just have the wire rack, you have no choice. You just have to kind of stack your shoes up along the floor. So I just love how this looks much better. The closet system is going to maximize your space. You will have no wasted space in here. So even all the way at the top, I have some of my purses on my side and then over here on Antonio's side, we keep our luggage over there. So every space is full. Nothing is wasted in this closet at all. My next pro is that it is completely customizable. That's what I love. So based on your specs and then what you choose to put into your closet, your closet is pretty much going to be one of a kind because it's one of a kind to your needs and it's one of a kind to your size. 
So I love that. I love that it's customizable. If you wanted two or three rows of hanging space, um, and then if you want it like we got a whole shoe wall, if you need more drawers, whatever it is, it is completely customizable and you can just add on to your heart's content, whatever it is that you want. So my last pro is that this thing is buildable. So meaning you can build on to this thing as much as you like. So they have doors that you can put on it, uh, just glass doors or mirrored doors. Uh, or just solid doors i love that you can add lighting to it if later on in years let's just say i get rid of some of my shoes and i want to change this shelf out for some drawers you can it is completely buildable so you can change it as time goes on and as your needs grow or lessen all right so that's pretty much it and let me just say this i do not work for ikea ikea is not paying me for this video i know it sounds like i'm just you know going on and on i'm not trying to sell you guys this thing at all i just really like to bring you guys stuff that i think is great for your house and of course is a great value this is a great value which brings me to my next point which is price so the price that we paid for our system was 1200 i believe that is a phenomenal value one because if you do not have the proper tools and all of that stuff prefab is the way to go like I told you guys I was able to get these boxes and put them together myself I did not need Antonio's help at all until I got to the point where I was trying to bring them, bring them in the closet and they got stuck other than that I was able to do all of this by myself and I was able to do it all by myself within a day if you're trying to take on a project like this even if you have the tools you're still going to have to go out and purchase all the wood the wood is going to be raw wood so you're going to have to paint it but then you're going to have to spec it out and you're going to have to build it which is going to take you quite some time and sometimes you guys when it comes to projects and home renovations it's just best to go ahead and spend the money because you'll find that your time is much more valuable all right so now that's all out the way i'm just going to give you guys a quick tour of my closet as you see it's not much i mean it's it's pretty much just a square so like I said in the beginning, this first box here is the 39 inch box, which is the largest box. And it is 22 inches deep. So you see it goes all the way back. Let me push it up a little bit so y'all can see. There you go. So my clothes do not stick out. So the clothes go fit all the way inside the box and nothing is sticking outside of the box. And I like that about it. So I have the shelf at the top with my purses there, which run all the way across. And then I have the hanging shelf here. And then right here, so I chose to do, um, you'll see this glass top. This glass top is something that can be purchased as well. So we purchased the glass top because I wanted to be able to see my things. I, that's another thing. I just thought it looked nice. All right, and then so my, for my first tray, so I have all my sunglasses on my first tray. I am a sunglass girl. I love sunglasses. So I got my sunglasses and some belts and some uh, larger necklaces on my first tray. My second tray is my jewelry box. So this is where I keep all of my jewelry. So this one is just like this shelf here. This shelf is just plain for this, for my jewelry section. I decided to get these inserts. Ikea sell these as well. So I decided to get these inserts and just place my things in there so then they don't slide all the way around. I kind of wish I would have did that with my eyeglass drawer because y'all see like if I, if I move it fast, it will slide back and forth. So I'll probably go back and get more of these. But yeah, so I love this. My stuff doesn't move at all. I'm able to fit a lot of different things in here. So that is my jewelry. And then I just have a drawer where I keep like undergarments and different things like that. And then this, I absolutely love. This is the pants rack. And I love the pants rack because as you guys can see, you don't need any hangers. And if I cannot deal with hangers, I love that. So, and y'all can see, I can fit so many pants on here. So on each row, I got like either three or four pair of pants or jeans and I like that a lot so yeah you can double them up stack them up all of that good stuff all right so y'all can see my bigger box ends here and then my second box which is the 22 and a half it starts here and it actually does go behind behind this uh cabinet some I can still reach back there and I can reach back there and get my coats all the way in the back so 
I know it looks kind of crazy, but it's not bad at all. I'm still able to reach everything. So this one here, I did not put any drawers or anything on it. It is just for all of my long pieces, as you guys can see. So I just did this whole box, left it open. All of my long pieces, still a shelf up there at the top. And then um, at the bottom, I just have some extra space that I use for whatnot. So as you guys can tell, Antonio and I are shoe people. I love shoes. He loves shoes, obviously. So we got this closet to match our needs, which is what I was saying about if you guys choose to do a closet. Um, if you're clothes people, then of course you'll probably have more boxes than this, more hanging rods than we do. But we are shoe people. So we already knew we really needed space for all of our shoes. So that's why we chose to go um, to use this back wall for our shoe wall so yeah so i'm going to show y'all one quick thing that is different than mine um on antonio's side so of course like i told you guys he has along the big box just like i do but his second box here um remember i just kept my long because i have all my long dresses and stuff i added another shelf shelf for him and then he has another rod down here so all of his soup jackets can y'all see that yeah y'all can see that so yeah, all of his suit jackets and things like that, um, he needed another rod, so he has a rod. All right, and so lastly is just my top shelves up here where I put um, the girls up top. All the purses, the girls had to have a place to be displayed. And I do that because I actually like to see my things because if I don't see it, then I'll never wear it. I'll never use it. So I really don't like to have stuff too tucked away because then it's just, it's forgotten about and y'all know. I like to have stuff that I'm going to use. If I'm not using it, then get it on out of here. So yeah, my top shelf is just uh, for my purses. Then we have on Antonio's side, we have our luggage there. So yeah, that's about it y'all. I highly recommend the pack system. Like I said, it just gave us so much more shelving. Now we're able to fit all of our things in here. Everything looks clean and organized and that's what I really love the most. I love that. I love a clean and organized look. So that's the best thing about it to me, hands down. If you have any other questions or if there's something that I forgot to mention, just go ahead and leave a question in the comment section below and I will definitely respond and let you know. But yeah, get to building those cabinets, you guys. So just go on Ikea and at the very bottom, I believe it says um, tools and you can click on tools and then click on pack system and then you'll be able to create your own closet like I did here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, again, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And if you are enjoying the channel, then make sure you give us a subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll know when I post new videos. So I will see you guys on the next one.